Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's episode, we will, we will be reviewing a Cape Cod and Beach style traditional house by Roro44. And this is what it looks like. What it looks like. So let's get into reviewing this amazing build. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's start off with the front of the house. Um, it has these uh, this amazing garage next to it with the attic above. Attic above where ca where the guest bedroom or something like that will be, or just storage. He hasn't filled it up, but that doesn't really matter. It's about the main building main house I mean um, yeah uh, I really like his lawn he used um, the mycelium block with the grass block to get that texture that grass texture uh, nice wall in front of the house with the white tulips it's very simple but it does the job um, I really like it uh, this is actually the BPN texture pack I think these are redstone torches yeah so we use redstone torches to get those lanterns hanging from the walls I really like those those are one of my favorites for traditional buildings and stuff um, and I really like his fl uh, flower choices with the dark oak leaves and the oak leaves and all the uh, this is actually a sapling uh, and the BPN texture they just made it a normal flower so uh, yeah I really like that very nice design I love this I don't know what it's called, but I'll just ca call it a uh, covered terrace or something. Um, I love it, man. It's so cool. And with the chimney going through everything. Man. Awesome. <clears throat> I really like the outside wall as well with the textures going through. And these being pillars and extending through the actual wall. And then um, actually it being a uh, railing to keep you from falling of course so it has these this view of it is amazing I, I think it's a river yeah or like a sea I don't know yeah it looks so cool man I mean I personally would have made this a bit bigger but I guess that wouldn't be that realistic to have an entire terrace over here I love the windows coming out of the roof as well. Makes a very cool detail to it. And of course gives some like views again over the river. Yeah. It's awesome man. And of course the, the birch planks with the oak planks or lime con lime concrete. Which is actually another texture in the uh, texture pack of course. Which re re resembles oak no birch planks, yeah. And it gives this very cool texture to the build. I like this rustic feeling. I love it, man. Jab uh, Ro I, I was about to say Jabby. <laughs> Roro. <laughs> um, yeah, very nice outside um, chimney with the barbecue. I like these uh, flowers that he has in front of the pillars. He doesn't have them over here, but that's a nice, cool little detail. Let's get inside of this big boy. Cool design actually with the uh just saw that <laughs> with the uh flowers hanging off the uh, roof. Very cool. Okay, let's get inside. Oh the first thing that really catches my eye is this floor pattern checker pattern very cool love the chandelier with the uh, custom heads on top of it and the cake block looking like uh, glass hanging off of it very cool here is where you can hang your code um, and I think this is the formal dining area or where you can have your meetings and stuff I think it's just a dining area yeah, a simple design. I love the slabs that he used for this. These are... Oh, wait, what? Ooh! That's cheeky. He used... Um, oh, alright, let me explain this. So, he basically used the uh, barrier blocks above it. He he put down a... Oops. Oh, wait. 
and then he put down a item frame beneath that and he put down the dark oak wood to make it look like a slab that is such a cool design I've never seen that before wow that's awesome love the windows with the um, remember how they're oh, never mind you know those things that uh, shades I think it's called shades or blinds blinds uh, very cool design oh yeah I, I forgot the he actually put detail into into the ceiling which I really like uh, let's get into the like seating area I don't think it's not the living area it's just to have a seat if you if you're tired from a, a long work day or something and you want to have to sit down right here next to the fireplace actually which is a very cool design really like that nice um, change of texture at the wall with the uh, obsidian makes it look like a marble texture very nice over here you have another door leading toward the, towards the garage which we'll get in this, uh, there in a sec don't think he actually put down the interior in the garage, but it doesn't really matter. It looks cool anyway. Um, yeah, it's just another area. I love these stairs. We'll get there in a sec. Let's get into the living area. I love the textures and the like um, cushions and stuff like that on, on top of the bench. Very cool design. He did this with the item frame technique again to get this uh, bench uh, couch design very cool I think this is one of those bean bags to sit in very cool design looks very comfy I guess you, it's very hard to make things look comfy in uh, in Minecraft but somehow he got the job done with these um, block choices and stuff like that and techniques very simple TV design I love the put cases beneath it and the plank above it with the books on it another fireplace with the same design as we saw before he actually put down the stairs and iron frames next to it to give that extra detail to it very nice man let's get into the kitchen oh I love this design with the dark uh, with the oak wood, wood above it as the cabinets um, the stove right here very cool design I think these are redstone blocks actually uh, cool firm fridge design over here another door leading to the outside eating area very cool island as well in the kitchen with I don't I don't use this gold ore I, I've never actually used that block yeah very cool man another seating area over here where you can eat your breakfast or something nice oh wait yeah so that over here was the actual dining area I love it I love it over here you got redstone comparator that makes it look like a coffee machine awesome alright let's get into the wait what what yo I actually just got that I've never seen that before. <laughs> he made this like he made this item frame. Oh my god! <laughs> Where are you? I finally found something cool. Yo, that's awesome! And he used the uh, item frames. So these are item frames, uh, like that, and then he has that. Oh, uh, to make it look like the. Um, like barrier from kitchen to living area very cool <laughs> that's so cool man let's go upstairs simple staircase design lovely chandelier again and here we've got the first bedroom of the house with the nice blinds again what's over here bathroom on sweet very nice very cool very cool nice private toilet from the shower 
two sinks actually. I think it's a shared bathroom then. Oh no, walk-in closet over here. No, it's just a single. So he has two sinks for a one-person bedroom. But I mean, who cares? If you got the money, why not have two sinks? I mean, if you're tired of one sink, you can go to the other sink. <laughs> um, here you've, you've just got this seating area in, the, uh, in between the bedrooms, I guess. Oh, not too Siri. <laughs> um, cool, cool. I don't actually know what this is. I guess it's just the, like the. No, I've, I've got no clue. And I actually love the texture in the window design. He has the brown stained gla glass and the pink stained glass co combined, which actually makes this very cool little detail. I didn't see that before. Nice. And I also like the. Um, different textures he used on the walls here he has the uh, I think it's a brown glazed terracotta and then over here he has uh, iron trapdoor in front of it that's so cool I love this part over here where you overlook the staircase very cool uh, walkway you've got the you've got another bedroom nice nice little chilling area I love that very cool nice blinds again another bedroom over here oh wait I think oh dang it these are like the kids bedrooms and then over here is the master bedroom so you've got two people like the mother and father and then over here you've got his and her sink I think that's right I, I could be wrong though but I, I think that that was the master bedroom and then over here you've got the shared bathroom nice uh, design for the son and the daughter yeah that's how it is very cool man very nice I might have like changed the wall over here to make it look like um, a girls room and then over here to, for a boys room but I don't think he had the space for it to do that it's still very awesome and I love the little couches he did with the uh, he made into the walls over here as well like where you can chill and read a book or something yeah awesome let's do the garage real quick almost forgot it just a standard gar garage still very cool though yeah man Roro very well done uh, actually this is one of my favorite traditional builds on the server like not you don't always have to build very big to make good looking builds it's actually just the amount of detail and just the real realism in this build is just so good i really love it well done roro um and by the way guys uh leave a comment if you should um uh, if you would like me to do like a tour of the world and have episodes on that um to show you guys updates if new warps warps are coming new builds and stuff uh, leave a comment if you would like to see that and um, yeah that's me for today have a good weekend and I'll speak to you guys later bye